Hi everyone, welcome back to Pause to Read. Today we're going to be reading Dog Coo, written by Andrew Clements. Now the title Dog Coo gets its name from the Japanese form of poetry, haiku. In this type of poem, you don't always have words that rhyme, but this poem follows the pattern of five, seven, five. That means that the first sentence has five syllables. It is time to read. The second sentence has seven syllables. I am in the library. And the third sentence goes back to five syllables. Sit down and listen. So now that we understand what a haiku is, let's get ready to read dog coo. Try to follow along and listen for the pattern. There on the back steps, the eyes of a hungry dog. Will she shut the door? First food, then a bath. The food was a lot more fun. Still, it all feels good. Morning brings children. Hugs, licks, barking, and laughing. Warmer than sunshine. A dog needs a name. Rags, mutt, pooch, no, not rover. Mooch, yes, mooch, perfect. Loud, fast, and crazy. Food, coats, then the front door slams. Mooch hates the school bus. First, arf, arf, then woof. Soon, arf, arf, then woof, woof, woof. Mooch has nice neighbors. Nose out the window, ears flapping, hair pushed straight back. Adventures in smell. The house is quiet. No kids, no mom, and no food. What's a dog to do? Chew on dirty socks. Roll around in weak old trash. Ah, that's much better. Squirrel sits in tree. Mooch sits below, looking up. Who has more patience? Sun all morning long. A deep, cool drink of water. Shade all afternoon. Scratch, sniff, eat, yawn, nap. Dreams of rabbits and running. Could life be sweeter? The sound of children. That's what was missing all day. Mooch loves the school bus. Family meeting. There are words and words and words. Did someone say pound? Dad puts on his coat and then the sound of a car. It doesn't look good. It's the car again, and then footsteps at the door. Will this be goodbye? A new doggy bed, food, a bowl, a squeaky toy. Mooch has found his home. The end. I hope you were able to hear the pattern. Try making your own poem or haiku at home. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next week.